Well, it's been more than a month now since Governor Abbott lifted that statewide mask mandate. The number of COVID cases not surged since then. Still, some experts warn it might be a little too soon to celebrate. Alana Rocha with the Texas Tribune joins us this morning to talk about that story and more. Morning, Alana. Good morning, Dave. It is interesting. Uh, so much. So many people were so concerned about that mask mandate lifting. Things have been okay since then. What are the concerns going forward? Yeah, experts say just because uh, numbers of new cases and the positivity rate has stabilized, stabilizing at a high level, uh, this, this stage of the pandemic when vaccines are rolling out, when we've been in this for more than a year and know how to protect ourselves, isn't exactly good news. Uh, you know, the, if the mask mandate had been in place uh, still, that those declines uh, would have been greater. Of course, we are seeing uh, declines in deaths and hospitalizations, which are good news. Uh, but, you know, with the presence of variants and still the population well short of that herd immunity threshold that's anywhere from 60% of the population vaccinated to 90%, um, you know, uh, don't let your guard down just yet is the message from experts. Yeah, that's been that message you know, all along, including since when right. that mask mandate was first lifted. To, we need to stay vigilant on that. All right, uh, now to talk about maybe some rare bipartisanship. I guess we take it where we can get it. Democrats and Republicans have been uh, critical at times of some of the governor's executive actions, and some want to take action on that. Right, uh, and rein in some of his executive authority and say that if, uh, uh, you know, the governor would be required to call lawmakers back to declare a state emergency, um, you know, if it lasts for, for 30 days. And uh, this measure, uh, should it pass House and Senate, uh, it will be put to voters, uh, us in November, uh, to decide whether or not to amend the Constitution in this fashion. Uh, during a special session, uh, if again this passes, uh, lawmakers could adjust executive actions that the governor's made, um, you know, terminate them or create their own laws in response to whatever the emergency is. Very interesting. We'll keep an eye on that. Also, uh, talking a little bit of gambling, that seems to be a topic quite a bit uh, leading up to sessions. There's talking about gaming once again, also about the possibility of casinos in the state of Texas. Yeah, it's a it's a perennial uh, <laughs> uh, topic every session and, and this session uh, you know, the, the lobbyists for, you know, the Sands Empire and whatnot uh, might have had more hope uh, when they saw that the budget shortfall was going to be larger than it actually turned out to be. Uh, of course, the state controller, the state accountant adjusted those estimates. So there's not as big of a hole to fill. And so momentum for, you know, casinos or legalizing cannabis as a, a way to bring in revenue uh, aren't necessarily going aren't as popular uh, maybe or, or tempting for lawmakers. But yeah, the Sands uh, Empire has started launching ads today on TV and radio trying to appeal to Texans and say, look, billions of dollars every year are going across state lines to states that allow casinos. Why not keep that money here by approving four uh, licenses for casinos in the four largest cities? Yeah, an interesting argument there. All right, I uh, want to touch on real quickly what's new on the Tribune. Plenty of other uh, really interesting topics as well. Yeah, never a dull moment, uh, <laughs> it seems. And yeah, uh, our Karen Brooks Harper uh, details today, uh, just the heartbreak of the 9,000 deaths uh, Texas has seen in nursing homes and really contextualizes that, as well as uh, we're looking at the end of the school year and the pressure kids are facing with the star testing and other end of year benchmarks they need to meet. It's all at texastribune.org. End of year benchmarks, a topic in our house, that's for sure. Uh, Alana yeah. Rocha, thank you so much, we appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back.